To say that uh, Theresa May is under increasing pressure is probably putting it mildly. That's right, and she's. Uh, this is a, another political fight. You know, she's again fighting for a political life. Uh, there is talk among uh, her cabinet, with whom she'll meet today, that they want a deadline by which she's going to uh, resign, that she'll leave, uh, and that may actually help her. They think get this Brexit deal through. She's going to try yet again to get her deal through the House of Commons, even though it's failed uh, by large uh, percentages uh, twice in the past. Uh, after that meeting this weekend, uh, which that came after uh, British newspapers had said she was under increasing pressure to resign. Uh, she said she's going to give it one more try to get this through, and uh, and we'll see what happens. But it's unlikely that she will be remaining much longer, especially if uh, if this happens in her own cabinet. And again, even in her own party, she doesn't necessarily have the votes to get a deal through. Well, indeed, and uh, the cabinet is. It seems like there's open conflict taking place in the cabinet and uh, the cabinet and the party itself. Now, the thing is, there's not a majority in the House for a no-deal Brexit. There's not a majority in the House for her deal that she's got on the table. There's no majority in the House for the people to actually call for a second referendum. So what would likely happen, you know, if somebody takes over, would that work? Well, it's, that's been the issue, right, that whoever else comes in, um, you know, what are they going to do differently? This is the problem. The, these are the options that are before them. And uh, there, there's actually been talk that they should come up with some kind of plan if they're going to remove her on how they're going to proceed before they do that. Um, Philip Hammond said that this weekend. It is up to the, the critics and those who want to see um, uh, Theresa May leave to come up with some other way that they're going to move forward on Brexit in the meantime. And there is no majority for that. So, Jody, what's the latest with Brexit and, and the timing? Right. Well, they've been given, you know, more time, obviously, to get something through. And so uh, if Theresa May does remain, there'll probably be another vote. Uh, there could be uh, some other kind of machinations trying to move this forward. And um, they have not ruled out, obviously, a second referendum, even though there's not support for that. There's not clear majority support for that. The problem is there's not clear majority support for anything at this point except uh, leaving without a deal. And uh, everyone has sort of taken that off the table for now. But what happens next is the real question and how soon it will happen.